What's going on, my peoples? We are back. And as promised, we're going to get into the topic in the last episode that we promised you we would get into and ask for your opinion on it. But first of all, let's get the pleasantries out the way. Hi, Ted. Hey, Papa. How are you doing, Nana? I'm well. How are you, Cramps? I'm doing all right. I just finished my (laughs) performance snapple, so I'm good to go. Can't do nothing without my performance snapple. <laughs> All right, Nana. So the question we pose into you guys today is Was I mean to Ted? Ted is gonna tell you a story. I'll respond if you know if I care to or what have you. I'm sure I will, you know, at some point. I don't know how it's gonna unfold. But she's gonna tell you a story. Or tell us a story and we want you to let us know in the comment section was i mean or was i not ted go for it well thank you so very much and i will add hey everybody and do not interrupt me until i'm done i shall not thank you so in all the years I've known Ted, I mean Rock. <laughs> shut up, shut up. I said no interruptions. <coughs> okay. Um, we've never spent New Year's together ever. We just never. So this year we are uh, 2022, right? We're gonna spend the, the New Year's together, going like from 21 into 22. So I go to PA. And we, you know, we get a bottle of wine or two and we got a hotel room and it's, it's going to be like, in my mind, I'm finally get to spend, I'm finally getting to spend New Year's Eve. I'm going to be able to bring in the new year with my love. Right? So because he gets these second and third wins, he works at night. Um... He was working at night at the time. And so, you know, I meet him in the city. We drive to PA. He's got this second and third win. Instead of him just like, okay, you know, let us getting settled and then him taking a nap because he's worked all night, right? No. I said, he got his third win and, you know, we had done all this stuff. And now we're back at the hotel room and we're watching TV He's up for a while and then he goes to sleep. Like he falls asleep about, I don't know, nine o'clock ish. All right. So now it's coming up on midnight and he's sleeping. And I was like, I know he's tired. And yes, I could have woke him up, but I know he's tired because he worked. He was basically up at that point for 24 hours. So, I don't wake him up. I'm disappointed that we're not actually up together bringing in the new year. It would have been fine. So, the next morning, I say to him, Oh, you know, I really wish that we had brought in the new year together. Like, you know, we, 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 we weren't, we, know, we, we weren't, you know, together like that. And he was like, but we were together. So I'm like, but no, we weren't, you know, I just, I'm a little disappointed that, you know, we weren't together. And he says, um, so you're upset that we weren't awake at the same time when the clock went from 11.59 to midnight. So you're, you're be, like, you're not taking, so like, you're totally disregarding my feelings. And I was like, well, if you put it like that, yeah, I guess so. We were together and that's all that matters. This is what he says. So I think that's me. He did not take my feelings into consideration. And he knows I'm emotional. He know, and I own all of that. But I don't think that that was being emotional. And don't be making a face because that's exactly what happened. So I said that he was mean. That was a mean, thoughtless thing to say. Now... Do I think that he intentionally said that to hurt me? No. I don't think he was trying to hurt me. I don't think that he was trying to be mean. But it was mean. 
Now I'm telling him, no, I don't think you did it intentionally, but he still he he just doesn't think it's mean. I think it's mean. What say you? And there you have it, my peoples, uh, and my peoples to be. Uh, so let us know in the comments what you think about that story. And she told it pretty much how it happened. So there's not much for me to add to that. Um, and, but that's how I felt about it. I'm like, we were together. I was sleeping, though. And it's great because you, you, you were the attentive understand the person that you were supposed to be and know that you know what especially when i'm working overnights and then if i come but when i usually when i come off an of overnight on a weekend on my day off like my friday i'm usually pushing 26 28 hours of no sleep and being up you know because i get up the day before you know in the evening um to go to work you know to leave like the house at seven o'clock seven p.m so we'll count say six we'll, we'll, let's just assume i was sleeping woke up at six walk out the house at seven to go do the overnight shift so i'll do the overnight shift get off of work at seven o'clock the next morning and because i don't want to waste the day i will stay up and a lot of times that will push me past i would say seven eight nine o'clock the following evening so for all the purposes let's say 26 hours you know 24 for me if i got up at six by the time 6 p.m rolls around the next day that's a 24 hour stint and if it's getting dark or whatever you know then i'll start to feel it and start to get tired and like she said i'll get my second or my third wind you know because i have those up and down dips as the day goes you know goes through so I fell asleep and uh and she understood that you know and she being a beautiful soul that she is like i'm not going to disturb him because i know that he's exhausted yes right so my feeling when she got up and she felt the ways that oh we didn't get to spend new year's together I said, what do you mean we didn't spend new year's together i was right there like arm's length away you know i am with you i'm just not conscious <laughs> but, I'm with, but i'm with you and uh yeah she thought it was mean that i felt that way that you know that you know you weren't up and you know and i kind of you know uh ruin the idea of what she thought it was going to be or whatever but it's just one of those things you know a lot of times with the way i work um and then i try to do extracurricular things because i don't have standard hours and because you know the distance and my commute my i mean a normal day for me uh with the commute and all are 16 17 hour days give or take you know that's without overtime 16 17 hours without overtime is a normal day for me so um you know by weeks in yeah i'm pooped and um because that's not the question because she recognizes that but you know saying that i was mean because i shrugged my shoulders you know when she oh said yeah that, and you he know, did shrug his shoulders i'm glad you said that he did shrug his shoulders okay go ahead well i mean yeah i was with you because that's how i felt i felt great because i was like you know what you know when you with somebody that you want to be with and sometimes you could be in a room with them and just because you're in a room with them you have that feeling of security or you have that feeling of warmth or whatever because the person you want to be with is near you you don't got to say a word when you develop that kind of relationship that's the kind of relationship i have with this woman where i don't even though we talk all the time which is why we're doing this podcast we got to get this energy out and it's still a dissipating because just so y'all know when we do this we could do an 80 minute podcast with you guys we don't talk before the podcast and then a podcast <laughs> stop and then we don't talk 45 minutes after the podcast i mean that's how much we talk you know it's like never ended and it's a beautiful thing because i mean if we had nothing to say it'd be okay well i'll rap to you tomorrow we have a lot to say sometimes we have to consciously say all right you know what stop don't bring up another conversation and you know let's you know get off the phone so we can get shit done and um so I, that's how I felt being in her presence. I'm sleeping. I'm comfortable. Um, I always feel great when I get a chance to leave my household because I'm a single father with two. Um, I don't want to say children because they're not children, but two grown men that still uh, live in my household. 
and um and parents of, of adult children whether you have younger children or whether you have adult children you know that you're not a, not a shot at your kids but when there's people in the house you know other than your spouse you know when there's people in the house you never really feel like you're off you know you're always kind of on you know and you don't never get that exhale moment until those rare moments when everybody leaves the house those mornings when everybody's at school everybody's at work and you have your home to yourself it's like oh god damn um so when i have these opportunities to get away and go to a hotel something like that that's where my my body and my brain shifts where i feel like i'm exhaling so it's like it was a combination of those things that evening whereas yes i was tired from working yes i was with my love and yes um um i was exhaling from not being in my household that evening you know so it was a combination of those things and because i was with her i felt content so when i went to sleep that was a good sleep because i could feel her in my sleep right next to me and then when i wake up she's right there you know so for me she feels like oh we weren't together i absolutely feel like we was together because i felt great i'm like hmm. so that's why i shrug my shoulders like okay well shit i mean i'm gonna try to maybe change your perception or whatever if i can but i haven't <laughs> but i felt great so for me we was together and it was a great time i had a great time i wasn't mm -hmm. awake when the ball dropped Shit. So here's the crazy thing. What you saying now and how you saying it, how you been, you didn't say any of that back. Oh, stop. Oh, I said on. it. You did not. I did you too. Did I did too. I told you, you were right next to me and I felt great and we was with each other the whole time, you know. I mean, maybe to go out to get food or something like that and whenever we're together, I'm the one that usually makes the runs and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, um, I was, you know, we weren't apart. I was with you the whole time. So when you say we weren't together or we were, that baffles me. That's like, what, what do you mean I wasn't there or we, we didn't bring in the new year together? I mean, all right, if, year, if, okay. if we want to get down to specifics, <laughs> Pacifics, <laughs> specifics, uh -huh. down to Pacifics. <laughs> but right, my Ebonics kicked in my mind. Look, you don't want to make Pascetti tonight, okay? Mm, you sure you made Pascetti, okay? And it was delicious. Yeah. It was delicious. It, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if we want to get specific <laughs> about uh, what it was, I was not conscious when the ball dropped. We right. were together when the ball dropped. Are you waiting for me to say something? Because you already, I already said what I had to say. Yes, we were in the same space together, but we were not um, awake at the same time when the ball dropped. Exactly. But we were together, like I said, and I felt great. I woke up and I felt great. It's like, hmm, oh yeah, Nana do. There she go. Crack, crack. Um, was he being that. mean was but i being what? mean yeah. was i being and mean I, that's what we want to know we want to know what you guys think about that story and um was i being mean that's that's the gist that's the question she so, wanted answered mm -hmm. she keeps because she keeps telling me this and it, now this is one of this is one of the defining moments in our lives that this this not being together on the first new years and stuff like that so it's come up multiple and it's going to continue it's not going to stop until whatever she feels like just uh, punching me in the kidneys she's going to throw it at me and it's fine yeah i could take it you know that, that's not, fine no you know because what? there's I'm things that there's keep... things that have happened between her in the past there's one or two things that i throw at her whenever i want to hit her hit her in the kidneys see you do that intentionally i do not well, what do you mean I intention? Mean, I mean, when I, I don't, I don't do it just because I, were, I, I never I say. I, there's never a moment where I say, you know what? I want to fuck with Ted today. Let me see what I can do to fuck with her. I never do that. But if we talk and we cross a uh, not a certain line, but we hit certain topics or hit certain things that come natural that naturally occur in our daily lives that re that make me reflect back to other things, then that's when I'll eh. just because like. I don't wake up saying I'm going to screw around with Ted, but just because she does it too, just because we have that 
playful kind of relationship with one another. We say, like, y'all hear us, like, we refer to each other as Nana and Papa. That's what we're talking about. We take stabs like that because, you know, she always that's does it because a, she's a few days younger than me. So it's like, okay, so I'm the old man. Besides, that's a term of endearment. Yeah, d- exactly. It's a term of endearment, but it's still like a little, you know, because uh, at the beginning, when I first saw you started calling me old man first, when he's getting older, and you know, I remember all of a sudden our conversation started to lead off with like, what's old man? And I'm like, what? Well, this is probably in my 40s. Like, oh, wait, what's this old man shit? No. And here's the thing. That's not what it, when it started was. And I told you this. I wanted him to think that he was a lot older than me, and he never bought it. I could put it in a cupcake, in a box of, in a bag of Skittles. He never bought it, and so, he, and I don't know why you never bought that. You would just, you know, I tried to give you the impression that you. No, 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 because me being the typical guy that I am and not being good with dates and paying attention to details along the way, there was a period of time where I wasn't really clear what year she was born in. So there was a question in my mind of how old she really was. And when she realized I didn't know, she took full advantage and she started to mess with me and make it seem like if I was 40, she was like 35, 36, 37. And I had to pause like, I don't, I'm not sure if you ever had a conversation about what year you were born. I know what your birthday is, but I'm not clear on the year that you're born. And she took advantage of that for quite some time. I did. (laughs) <laughs> and then he got then he got hit to it, right? So that I started calling him um, Grandpa and Old Man and Gramps and blah blah blah. But again, that was you know me trying to you know make it think he was older. But then when he didn't, and it wasn't like a well, okay, so yeah, maybe it was like a little stab or jab, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then it became oh, you, know, you can this term of endearment because he started calling me Grandma, and I was like. That's not how this is supposed to work. I'm supposed to call you grandpa and you just call me by my name. And But he didn't and he started calling me grandma. And we would be in the street talking to each other. Yo, Grams, Grams, come here. Grandma, she look like your grandmother to me. But yes, so it's it's become a term of endearment. That is not a dig and you know it's not. So over, you're so over the top, you're doing the most. I ain't doing enough as far as I'm concerned. Doing the most. I'm not doing enough. Listen. That's Maybe not all the that. topic. I'll the topic you, is... You were mean. All this nonsense. And Listen, and, 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 you were mean. What? Listen. Bah humbug. So, so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. What you're telling me is that my feelings aren't valid. Oh. Here, fellas. Here we go. No, 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 no. I'm telling you that's how I felt. I didn't say that, um, like, that's what I'm saying to you, that it's not intentional. I, it, it hurt me. I felt like you were being mean in that moment. And I'm still shocked, like, hurt. Okay. You're well, sh- you're, are you, you shocked? Are we not mad? All right. You, you, all right. Let's just make, you're saying that you honestly was hurt by that, and I don't want I, not, I, mean, I I can't tell you how to feel, right? When, when a person has an emotion, you can't tell them how to feel. That's my point, Pop. That's my point. What I did, I don't feel like I did anything to to make it feel like your emotions weren't valid. I mean, even with my statements, I didn't. You know, it, it's just still shocking to me. Like, really? Like, wow. Okay, so you heard the story, uh, people out there. Um, from both of our sides mm. now so did he make my you know did his comments would his comments make you, you were crazy? they mean to her do you feel my comments the she morning after me. were mean yes that's what we want to know right all right my people and, so and the, wait a minute. oh oh here but we go you just added no because you just added to it by saying you didn't think that your comments made my feelings invalid and I'm telling you, it did because you could have just said, "Oh, I'm sorry, Nana," or "Girl," I, you know, something to the effect that I got a you know, cop a plea for my situation. No, because apparently you didn't. And yeah, because there's no need to. Um, you acknowledge you knew exactly why I was sleeping because you knew that should negate everything else. You could be disappointed, 
But everything else should be negated because you understood right. what I was doing and why I was sleeping. You know, for you to say I was mean or, you know, or, or treated you some kind of way, it suggests that I did something. You 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 did something by sleep. what you said. No, 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 no. It's not the sleep. And maybe that's where the confusion is coming in. It's not you weren't mean because you slept. That's not the meanness. The response to me sharing my feelings with with you, what was is what was mean. I would never think you were mean for falling asleep. I'm always trying to get. Who's always trying to tell you you need to go to sleep, you need to get your rest. Oh, great man, she ain't what she used to be. I'm always the one telling you that. So it's not that you were sleeping. I'm glad you were sleeping. It was the response to me sharing my feelings about. I wish that we were both awake. I mean, we bought wine. It's like we've never even drank alcohol. We've never, we never drank alcohol together, ever. So this would have been our first night. We're going to have a ship, you know, a, a bottle of uh, Moscato and blah, 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 blah. So I'm sharing with you my disappointment. And you like, yo, we was together. Stuff it, eat it. Next, what you want for breakfast? That's all I'm saying. Not the sleeping, but the response to my sharing. Did you think I thought it was mean that you were sleeping? Is that a yes? Yeah. Really? So it's just strictly my response. The, when Once you shared your disappointment about me sleeping and my response is what made you feel like I was mean. Yes. The response, not the action, not the initial mm -hmm. action. The sleeping dude, really, have we met? All right, so you know what? Still, y'all let us know. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to backpedal because this woman knows that I'm in tune with her and you know and I, I make an attempt to understand you know even when things are explained and I'm kind of like cavalier and like you know whatever you know it's like okay get it out because I recognize this is oh my camera just turned off hold on Nana mm -hmm. your camera turned off <laughs> I ran out of camera space Nana oh, oh poppy. yeah uh, put a pen in it hold on all right, Nana. So we back. Uh, that was a brief. Uh, uh, ran out of camera space. I'm not sure exactly where we left off. Um, were we winding uh -huh. down? We were getting to the point where you. Well, we were at the point where you. Well, I finally realized that what you thought that I thought was mean was the fact that you were sleeping, which clearly I wouldn't think that was mean, but right. it wasn't that you were sleeping. It was your comment about how I felt about us not having that glass of Moscato together when the clock went from 11.59 to 12 o'clock. Okay. All right now. So it was the comment, not the act. It wasn't even so much like I commented as, I, as it was a response, but okay. Okay, response, comment, what you had said. What had happened was? It's all the same. And like I said, you were negating my feelings. You were honoring my feelings in that moment. Honor? <sighs> yes. Okay. Acknowledging my feelings in that moment. Okay. All right, Nana Do. So you guys let us know in the comment section what you thought about that. And we just want to straight up know, was I mean or was I not? And what we're going to do is we're going to take those comments and we'll make another me uh, another video um, in the future um, where we um, address comments and uh, share the comments with the rest of the, uh, the viewers and just see exactly what you guys think. All right. So I think we're done here, Nana. We're done. And trust me, there's <laughs> no love loss here. You know, this lady, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't got to go nowhere. Never. I told him. He, he know. <laughs> she know. You know. She know. She know. Oh, I know. 
Whatever. She know. <laughs> she know. <laughs> All right, my peoples. We're going to uh, sign out of here, all right? Until next time, be good to each other. Later, Deuces. Nana. Later, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>